Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is? Can you tell what it is? That's right, it's Airfix is brand new. Um Gloucester Javelin. So that's a box art. Nice dramatic shot. Here's some of the detail um, that they have on the kit. The canopy is um, able to be positioned open or closed. There is a detailed um, crew access ladder. Very nicely detailed. And um, there's another shot of it. Full detail on the undercarriage. Spoilers. Yeah, look at that detail. It's amazing. Can't wait. This kit gives you three um, markings and I think two variants. Yeah, two variants. The FAW9 and the FAW9R. Right, so let's have a look at what we get in the box. Mutual FX Club paraphernalia, the decals. Nice and bright, good register. Um, exactly what you'd expect from um, Katakoff. Um, the tail um, flag is wrap around. I'm not sure how well that'll actually sit on the model, um, but we'll see. Um, interestingly, it looks like they've pre-punctured the decals for the Vortis generators. The tail flashes. 64 Squadron. 33 Squadron. 228 Squadron. Missiles. And the carriage detail, I think. I think it's the other carriage bay. The decal guide. Um, so nice, clear instructions. Um, as we've come to expect from Airfix. So we got in total 73, 82, 88, various loadout options, 100 steps in this kit, 100 steps. Painting guide, I'm tempted to go for this one. But I'm also tempted to go for this. So you've got um, number 33 squadron um, based at RAF Middleton St George. Uh, 22, yeah, 228 operational conversion unit based at Louchers and Bimbrook. Number 64 squadron based in Singapore. Interesting tail crash there. Right, um, let's have a look at these plastic parts. Really, really exciting. So all in all, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The clear sprue, it's nine sprues of parts to be keeping you busy with. Can't wait. So they look good, clear, clear lines, they're not really showing through the back, but you can take my word for it though, they look good. Fuel tanks, the crew ladder, you can see there's a fair amount of detail on there. Um, rungs and nice details on the cockpit sections. There we go. Lots of detail there. Side walls.
This is that textured um, finish um, that's obviously in the injection moulds. Um, I the first kit I had that had it was the Hawk. Um, so if you're familiar with the texture of that, you'll know what I'm talking about. This one is slightly less textured, which is a good step. I um, I think wheels, engine parts. Spoilers. As you can see a really good clean register. So you can see the level of detail that you've got inside there. More detail in the cockpit area. Can't wait. I believe they're the engine nozzle outlets. You can see panel lines are really nice and clean. Um, it looks like flaps are positionable. Lower wing. All those lovely, lovely clean panel lines and rivets. Upper wing. And there's the Vortis generators that they've allowed, um, or that they've pre cut out the decals to allow for. Really, really going to enjoy building this kit. Put fuse the large sides, a nose cone. Main fuselage um, pieces. So you can really see how clean and sharp those panel lines are. There is no flash as you'd expect from a new kit. Can't wait. Even more detail in the cockpit area. Fuel tanks, I think. Can't wait. Can't wait. Anyway, there's a early preview um, for you of the Gloucester Javelin kit. I urge you to go out and get yourself this one. I'm super confident all the parts are going to go together nice and tight and No problem with fit issues. Um, right, catch you on my next video, guys. Have fun. Get paint on your face and glue on your hands, as Lenny would say. Um, shout out to Lenny, to Freddy, to any other guys out there that recently subscribed to me. Tara.